keep saying no to everything, no to downtown this, no to downtown that. Oh my God, what kind of city will we have? We will have nothing. For a second time, things got heated for Lynchburg City Council members when talking about next year's budget. Those talks went late into the night and then stretched into the early morning. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant talked with city leaders on both sides to get their take. It was a heated council meeting for Lynchburg leaders as they did their first reading for the $194.6 million budget Tuesday night. If you want to increase funding, say how much. Say it. No, no, no. No, no, I'm, I'm in the middle of my thought, council member. Five of the council members want to move forward with the budget, but two are opposed. Instead of focusing on uh, real critical issues, it built a, it's spending money on a $10 million sidewalk. Councilman Jeff Hegelson represents Ward 3 and doesn't agree with the projects the other council members want to support, like a sidewalk on Florida Avenue, funding Lynchburg City Schools, and a beautification project in downtown. I don't want to see more money going to bureaucrats. I, I want to see money going to people that are in operations, people that are doing work, teachers, firefighters, police, trash collectors, people that are doing something. Councilmember Bo Wright says... It's showing businesses, uh, not just not just those who are eyeing Lynchburg, but those who are already here, that we care about our community, we care about the kind of economic ecosystem that we have here, and that as a community, we're willing to make smart, thoughtful investments. Hegelson says the $1.6 million proposed to go to the school division is money he says LCS does not need to help with pay increases. The interim superintendent said, I cannot understand how this previous group had hired 200 more employees with 400 less kids. That's where the raise went. The raise has gone for years by hiring all of the extra people. Well, I'll just remember how this is saying fast the news is fact. Uh, that, that's not, in my opinion, an accurate representation of the school financial position nor the decisions that they've made. On May 28th, council will hold a second reading and vote for the final time. I'm going to say exactly what I said uh, this last Tuesday, plus several other things. I will be supporting the budget. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.